Issuing Gift Vouchers in Retail Manager To issue a, issue a gift voucher, customer details need to be entered. Either individual customer records can be used, or you can create a generic gift voucher customer to use in every gift voucher sale. If you use an individual customer record, it has to be the name of the recipient of the gift voucher and not the person that buys the gift voucher. So we'd need to record in our retail manager the name of the person receiving the gift voucher. To record a sale for a gift voucher, no item details are entered. Through the payment details field, you'd select the appropriate payment method as well as the gift voucher payment type. We'll demonstrate this now. From our sales screen, enter the staff code, and what we've done here is, is set up a generic gift voucher customer called GV. Tab down to the payment details. We'll take a gift voucher sale for $100 in cash. Simply go to the gift voucher payment details and add the $100 to that code. And commit. A sales docket is printed as well as a gift voucher. This gift voucher is gift voucher number 5. Depending on your print setup, we can automatically print the gift voucher with the credit note number, but if you use your own pre-printed gift vouchers, make sure you record the credit note number on the voucher. Let's go through the process of redeeming a gift voucher. When redeeming a gift voucher, a customer record needs to be entered. This customer record needs to be the same as the one entered during the purchase of the gift voucher. So either we used gift voucher as the customer name or the name of the recipient, the person that's coming in to redeem it. In this case, we'll of course use GV. So let's say that in the following example, a customer wants to purchase the, bas uh, the iron using the $100 gift voucher. We'll put that through. So we're selling one iron. We'll tab down to the payment details and select gift voucher. and add it. Now on the list we've got two gift vouchers for gift voucher customer. We're going to select the note ID number 5 for this particular one. The other ID could be for another customer completely different. We'll commit this. No change will be given. However, the system will not only print a sales docket but we'll also print out another gift voucher with the residual amount on it. So what we've got here now is gift voucher number 6, which the customer can take away, which will have the residual amount of $8.06 left on it, so that can be redeemed at a later date. It's a very simple process of both selling a gift voucher and redeeming a gift voucher using a retail manager.